The Book of Boba Fett, Chapter 3, is in the books, The Streets of Mos Espa. This episode was also like the first episode, directed by Robert Rodriguez. And I didn't even realize that Robert Rodriguez is also one of the executive producers of this show. And the episode definitely had a much faster pace than Episode 1. I didn't get to see what other people thought about this episode, but I did see some people that were not really digging it. Um, I actually kind of enjoyed the episode because the story progressed and things actually happened. It, it may not have been as artistic as the first two, but uh, we saw some pretty good action. Danny Trejo was in this episode, and that was a treat. Like When I saw Danny Trejo, I was like, I'll bet Robert Rodriguez directed this one, and I was right because that's his boy. Um, and things actually happen in this episode. You know, the story right now is who is behind the assassins that are trying to kill Boba. Is it the Hutt's twins, like the cousins of Jabba the Hutt? It seems a bit too obvious. Is it the mayor? Like, it, I feel like whoever it turns out to be is going to be a big surprise um, by the end of the series. Whoever it ends up being, I don't know. But, uh, you know, the episode kind of establishes or reestablishes Boba as being this enforcer of Tatooine. You know, there's this subplot where this, um, this, uh, like, vendor asks Boba to take care of these gang of punks that are stealing his water. Then when he goes to confront them, he realizes that the punks are actually, they kind of have a point and that the water's being overpriced. So Fett, you know, lays down the law on these dudes, you know, tell him the dude to cut his prices. So, Boba is, you know, a, a guy who thinks for himself more than just thinking about the money. So, the other plot of the episode was him going to go meet with the Pikes. But before that, we get the Black Wookiee. Black Chrysanthemum actually does... A, a, he was in the last episode, and it, people were marking out. And I was trying to remember where I saw him, but I do remember him from the comics. So, he pretty much came in, and they had a fight in the middle of the episode, and man, this is one of the toughest dudes out there, like, seeing him just thrashing everybody by himself was awesome, just a pure brawler, Boba himself gets thrashed throughout a lot of this, and then they throw him in the Sarlacc pit, which is basically, not, not the, I'm sorry, not the Sarlacc pit, the Rancor, uh, like, basement area of Jabba's palace, which is just a prison because the Rancor was killed by Luke Skywalker in Star Wars Return of the Jedi. So the twins end up arriving and surprisingly give Boba, as a gift, a Rancor, a new Rancor. And um, they promise to leave Tatooine because they were misled by the mayor. So this whole story is, like, there's no good guys here. Everyone's kind of a villain. You know, it's got that kind of... Quentin Tarantino, like, there's no real good guys here, even though we have a protagonist, which is Boba Fett, but he has a, a very checkered past, you know, even though we like him, uh, that that's the way it is. So, um, Fett tries to train the Rancor, and that's where they bring in Danny Trejo, which I thought was kind of a really pleasant surprise. And what ends up happening is they have this speeder chase at the end of the episode, which really felt like a video game. You know, it reminded me of that level of Shadows of the Empire, when you're in the speeder chase, I love that level, yo. It's because it's so damn fast, especially for like Nintendo 64 era. Does anybody remember that? I do. And so um, they're talking about how, like, they, they 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 get to the mayor, and he's talking about how the Pikes are the ones that are really the problem, and the Pikes are coming to most Espa, and because of that, Boba Fett prepares for war. So they're building up this uh, conflict between the Pikes and Boba Fett. But the question is, you know, what is, are the Pikes really the villains? And that's kind of the whole thing that's going on here. Are they really the antagonists of the series? It was an okay episode. I watched it late today. I watched it in the afternoon. I didn't get to see it in the morning. Because the show, if I'm being honest, is not really like The Mandalorian where I thought it was must-see. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad show. I'm just saying it's not as good. And I have other things going on right now in my life, so I can't, like, stay up till 3 a.m. like I used to every night. You know what I mean? I used to do this all the time every time there was a episode of Mandalorian. But I did enjoy the episode, uh, although it may not be one that I go back and revisit. There's still, I believe there's nine episodes total of this show. I think they said it was nine, so I got six episodes left. Overall, I liked it, um, but I saw some people not liking it. I liked it. I, I loved the, the fight. With the Black Wookiee, I love Danny Trejo's cameo. I love where they're going with the story. Uh, it's moving a little bit slow, but not slow enough to where I'm really 
where I totally don't care. You know, but I, I haven't really gotten into the show to where I really care about it yet, but hopefully soon. Anyways, those are my thoughts on episode 3, chapter 3 of Book of Boba Fett. I'll talk to you all next time.